All right, so first things first, before we get into it, don't judge me for this super messy backdrop, okay? Because this is basically my studio slash film area where I make most of my videos. And since people don't really get to see this, I don't put too much effort into maintaining it. But as you can see, there's some, you know, shirts and pants on the couch. There are some open boxes. It's a mess. And I do plan to eventually clean it at some point to do a proper setup tour. But for now, just don't pay too much attention to it and we'll be good. Okay, so with that out of the way, in today's video, we're gonna be enjoying some really cool anime themed snacks. Uh, I was just walking through this local Asian mall and I noticed that a bunch of the stores were carrying these Asian snacks, right, from Japan, from China, from Korea, and a lot of them were also anime themed. And I was like, yo, this would be perfect for the channel because obviously we talk a lot about uh, anime in general, but also I love to eat. So uh, yeah, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess eight different types of snacks. But in terms of properties, we got some Dragon Ball stuff, some Pokemon stuff, some Demon Slayer, uh, One Piece, and also a cool little uh, Studio Ghibli uh, snack as well, which we'll get to in a bit. But the first thing I wanna try is actually a drink because I'm actually really thirsty. So uh, let's go for this one. And this right here is apparently a lychee flavored sparkling water with a Magikarp on the front. And I'll give you guys a quick look all around the can. There you go. So it says, uh, yeah, lychee, sparkling water, 1997 Nintendo, Creatures, Game Freak, TV Tokyo, Show Pro, JR Kikaku, Pokemon, TM, are trademarks of Nintendo for sale in China only. Okay, so I'm in Canada, so I don't know if we're breaking any laws, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much right now. Let's just open this up and, uh, Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, it exploded! <laughs> I must have like shooken it by accident in the bag or something. Okay, so we're good. We're safe. But I'm gonna uh, open the can now. Alright, so this is an interesting full tap. It's not like your standard um, like soda can where you just like kind of, you know, push it forward and then push it back. This one comes right off, as you can see, right? Like there's just a hole in the top of the can now, so uh, let's try it. Do I spilled it all over myself. <laughs> what is happening right now, man? We're good though, we're good. Okay, so first thing I noticed is that it's kind of sweet, which I'm a bit surprised by. I was expecting just kind of like, um, you know, a mildly flavored sparkling water, right? Kind of like uh, the zero calorie ones you get from any store, I guess. And uh, this one's sweet, so I'm pretty sure it does have calories. Uh, let me see, 117. So I don't know if that means 117 calories for every 100 milliliters. That sounds like a lot. That sounds like way too much. Cause this can is what, 330 or something like that? So that means if what I said is correct, then there's like 400 calories in this can. That's not right. That's not right. Well, either way, I'm gonna just drink a little bit. Because obviously I don't wanna get too full for the rest of the video. So that is the lychee uh, Magikarp sparkling water. And aside from the explosion that scared the crap out of me, really, really good. Really, really good. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to the side. And now let's grab something else. Okay, so this one I'm not that excited to actually eat because it's just gum, but uh, what I'm more interested in is the card inside. So give you guys a quick look at that. This is a Dragon Ball card gum, I think is what it says in the front. Dragon Ball card gum, it's got a Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And at the bottom here it shows a couple of cards. So apparently it comes with, I guess a stick of gum and uh, also a collectible card. There's a base Goku, and also a Super Saiyan 2 Kefla in the front. 
and in the back is just all Japanese, so I'm not really sure what it says, but I'm excited for this card, man. I bought three of them actually, as you can see. They were really cheap, they were only like $2 each. So I bought three, and I'll probably open up all three just to see if we get different cards. So here we go. First pack, guys, of the Dragon Ball. Oh, yo. Oh, hold on, oh, there's multiple cards. Okay, I thought it was only one. Okay, so first things first, I'll show you guys the gum. So it's like just a white square. Like I was expecting an actual stick, but nah, it's just a white square of gum, which is fine, I guess. Uh, I'll taste it real quick for you guys, just to let you know what flavor it is. But obviously I'm not gonna be chewing gum the whole time because it makes it hard to talk, right, so. Wait. Wait. Hey, so when I first put it in my mouth, it like crumbled. You know how like gum normally, it just stays together? But this one crumbles, so maybe it's just really stale. Maybe they've had this gum for like years, I don't know, man. It's possible, but yeah, it crumbled. I was like, is this actually gum? Or is it just like some kind of candy? But no, it's definitely gum. Definitely gum. It's coming together now. And it actually tastes really good. So, it's not minty. Or maybe the slightest bit minty. But it's not like a spearmint or anything. It's like, um, some kind of fruit. Like I would say it's closer to a juicy fruit than a, I don't know, like Excel gum or dentine or whatever. That's actually really tasty. It's actually kind of close to the lychee. It's kind of close to this drink. Or maybe it's because I already have the taste of the lychee in my mouth from the drink. And that's why the gum also kind of tastes like that, but it's fruity. Yeah, it's good gum. Although it's losing its flavor very quickly. Like I've been chewing for like a minute and the flavor is almost all gone. Okay, so I'm gonna spit that out. And uh, let's check out these cards. Okay, so it looks like we have two cards and the reason I was kind of excited when I first took a look is because one of the cards is Android 18, guys. Okay, so there's my girl 18. You guys know how I feel about her. And if there was one card that I wanted more than, I don't know if there's like a Gogeta in there, then obviously I want the Gogeta, but you know, in terms of like a regular character, man, Android 18 is definitely the one that I really wanted, so we got her. And the other one is a Bulma, which is also pretty sweet. So, got the girls in this one, Android 18 and Bulma. And we still have two more packs. And you know what? These cards are actually kind of nice quality. Like, they're not super thin. They feel very sturdy. Obviously, I'm not going to bend it, but... Uh, yeah, solid quality cards, man. So I'm gonna probably like put those in sleeves after the video, but let's open up this second back here. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna chew the gum this time, because uh, I already know what it's like. But this time we got, ooh, okay, so we got two dudes this time. And they are, number one, a Final Form Angel Frieza. There you go, looking smug, as always. And then the other one is Jiren, man. So we got Jiren and Angel Final Form Frieza for our two cards here. So, so far, Jiren, Frieza, 18, and Bulma. Not bad pulls, man, not bad pulls. Yo, I gotta go back and get more of these, actually, because these cards are actually really nice. Like, I should have bought at least 10, because they were only two bucks each. They were super cheap, so. I'm probably going back and grabbing a few more. Okay, so last pack here. Hopefully we get something different. Oh, okay, hold on. So, we got a dupe. We got a dupe already. So I'm gonna show you guys my new card first and then I'll show you guys the dupe. So the new card is Super Saiyan Kaba. Not my favorite character, but he's pretty cool. Hold on, is it focused? Yeah, Super Saiyan Kaba. And then the other card, which like I said, is a duplicate already, 
is Android 18. So, I mean, at least it's 18, right? If I was to pull a dupe for anything, I would have wanted a second 18. So, uh, yeah, there we have it, guys. Three packs of gum, six cards in total. Got Volma. Hold on, let me get a close up here. Volma, Android 18, uh, Jiren, Frieza, Android 18 again, and finally, Super Saiyan Kaba. Oh, there's the back too. I don't know if I showed you guys the back. Hold on. Okay, so here's a look at the back of all these cards as well. So there's Kaba, back of 18, Frieza, Jiren, 18 again, and the Bulma card. Okay, so I've been looking forward to opening these up for a bit because uh, I got these snacks probably like a week ago, just never actually got around to opening them until now. So that's uh, two different kinds of snacks out of the way. Now let's go for a different franchise. Let's do Demon Slayer. And this one, I actually have no idea what the candy is. Um, I'll show you guys the bag, obviously. There's my boy Tanjiro in the front, and I think we actually get little stickers in the bag as well. So there is a Nezuko sticker, and then there's a quick look at the back. So uh, yeah, Demon Slayer, and we also have a second package, which I think is the same thing, but this one has Nezuko as like the main character, and then a uh, Tanjiro sticker over here. So. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter which one we open first, but since I grabbed the Tanjiro one first, let's open this up and see what the actual candy is. Okay, so we got a sticker. We got a sticker. I don't know. Oh, it's kind of like a secret. I think I have to like flip or like peel something off first. Okay, I'll put that to the side first. Let's try the candies. Ooh, okay, so there's different wrappers for all these candies too. We've got like different characters, so uh, I don't even know which one to show you guys first. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this one. Okay, so that's one of them. And then we have a Nezuko one as well. Okay, and then we also have this one, and I'm sorry, but I forgot this character's name. I do know he has a really sad backstory, but it's been a minute since I watched the anime, so. Uh, yeah, if you guys know his name, let me know in the comments. And I think those are all the various, oh, and we have two more actually. Okay, we have a Tanjiro, there you go, Tanjiro. And then we also have a Zenitsu. All right, so those are all the wrappers. Uh, I'm assuming the candy actually tastes the same, but uh, let's open up the Nezuko candy first. And uh, yeah, I'm really curious. So it's like this purple blob. All right, that's what the candy is. It's a purple blob with like some kind of filling in there. So I'm gonna just try it out. Hmm. Okay, it's super chewy. Like kind of tough, but chewy. Grape flavored. Um, kind of like a taffy, I guess. Okay, so I guess the easiest way for me to describe this for like most people to understand is like kind of like an airhead. Kind of like an airhead. Yeah. That's actually super tasty. It's grape flavored. I don't know if they're all grape flavored though. Like, let's try this Tanjiro one. Um, see if it's any different. All right, so it looks the same. It's also purple, although the actual jelly part seems a lot bigger than the other one. But I think it's just like a discrepancy in the way they make it, not actually the flavor or anything like that. Yep, okay. Exact same thing, so. I'm gonna save the rest for now and check out my sticker actually. See what character we get for this. And uh, I think I have to like peel the top layer off or something like that. I don't wanna mess it up, but that's what it looks like it's telling me to do. 
Okay, this is actually like a little bit tough. Oh, I got it. I got it. Here we go. Oh! Yo, that is so sick. That is so dope. Okay, so it's one of the pillars. And once again, forgot his name, man. Like it's, it's been too long since I read the manga and I actually read the entire series too, but I just can't remember all these names. So I do apologize, but it's this dude. Um, he's kind of crazy. He's the brother of the other guy who can like eat demons and like get their abilities or whatever. So um, there you go. Got the sticker of this guy. And then for the other package here with Nezuko, we are getting once again another sticker and also, uh, oh, some different characters. We got the snake guy, we got the uh, love pillar, we also have one for the uh, guy that cries, the rock guy, and some more. I forgot this guy's name too. <laughs> I'm so bad with names, man. It's so bad. Okay, so I'm gonna just show you guys all the different ones we got. So we got another Tanjiro, which I don't have to show you anymore, but here are the new ones. All right. So that's a love pillar. This is the snake guy. We got the rock crying guy, who I really like. And then we also have this girl. Uh, don't want to mess her name up either, so yeah, just her. <laughs> and also, uh, what is this? Oh, it's it's also Tanjiro, I think, getting a sword. I believe that's what it is. All right, so just various scenes, various characters from the actual series. Uh, I really like this, man. I think it's really cool. I like being able to appreciate these images for a second before I tear open the wrapper and eat the candy, so. Uh, I'm not gonna have any more because I'm 99% you know what let me check let me check okay so let's grab one of these uh, pink love pillar ones and just see if the candy is the same as the other bag uh, yeah exactly the same there you go purple taffy purple blob with a little bit of jelly in the middle so I'm gonna eat that and then I'm gonna save the packages because they're really cool and let me try to reveal this uh, other sticker for you guys as well. All right, here we go, it's coming. It's coming. So you basically peel off the white cover here to reveal your actual sticker. And I'm not too sure what it is right now, hold on. Oh yeah, it's the masks. It's the uh, masks for the, those, those like students that died. Spoilers for anybody that hasn't seen uh, the first season, I guess, but yeah, it's it's the masks for uh, those those guys, and yeah, these stickers are really really nice. Like the 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 design, and also the actual effect, the like shininess, is really clean. So I'm probably gonna put these on my water bottle. I'll think about it. Maybe on my laptop. We'll see. But got some nice stickers. Got some nice cards. And I think that does it for all the like collectible snacks because the other ones I think are just the snacks themselves without any extras. But these are really cool. I'm actually really tempted to go back and get some more Dragon Ball cards and also some more uh, Demon Slayer stickers because the candy is really good, but the stickers are what I'm really after, honestly. <laughs> okay, so I am kind of an idiot because I went to switch out the battery for my camera because it was dying. And after I did that, I forgot to press record again. So I went through all the remaining snacks and it was at the very end when I was doing my sign out that I realized it hadn't been recording the whole time. So uh, I'm trying to think like which ones I actually did on camera and which ones I did off camera, but I'm pretty sure I missed the One Piece one, I missed a couple of drinks here, as well as a couple of the really cool Pikachu, like Pokemon snacks. So uh, I'm not gonna pretend that, you know, like I didn't do that, because I, I wanna be real with you guys. So yeah, that's my bad, but I'm gonna show you guys the packages, which are already open. 
and uh, I'll tell you guys about the, the snacks as well. Okay, so this is the one piece package. Here's a quick close up here. We got the whole crew and on the back here, it tells you that you can get one of, I think 29 different stickers. And uh, the one we got is, let me see, this one right here for Jewelry Boney or Jewelry Bonnie. Now, I don't know who she is because I didn't get to whichever part that she appears in the anime, but uh, she's eating some pizza and a turkey leg in her picture, so I like her already. And there is a quick look at the sticker right there. So essentially, they're wanted posters and you can get one of 29. So if I wanted to collect the whole thing, I'm guessing that I would have to buy like a hundred of these packages, which I'm not going to, but uh, yeah, that was pretty awesome. And of course, the actual candy themselves have the characters from the show. So here's a close up of the Nami one. All right, we have, of course, the captain himself, Luffy. We have, uh, who else? We have a chopper one. Okay, here is Sanji. And we also have at least one Zoro candy, which I can't find right now. There's a lot of repeats. There's a lot of repeats, but I saw a Zoro in here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the Zoro. And uh, unfortunately, you guys can't see me, you know, taste it for the first time because I already tasted it, but it's like this, you know, I'll open up one just to show you. Uh, it's like this like brown ball. It's slightly uh, clear, I guess, and it tastes kind of like cola. And then on the inside, there is this like white uh, powder or whatever. It's kind of sour, but also like fizzy. Like when you get to it, it starts exploding in your mouth. And uh, it's a really weird sensation, but also kind of cool. So <laughs> I'm not gonna have another one because it takes a while to actually get through it, but I like this one. And then for the Pikachu ones, we got two packages. There is this uh, red Pikachu package as well as the orange one. And they both have the exact same candy. But what I really liked is the actual packaging for the candy itself. So they're gummy candies. And we have this little like cute Pikachu face as well as a Pokeball. And uh, I'm gonna keep these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna at least keep one of each just to like have in my collection. So. I'll put those to the side, but uh, in terms of the actual candy itself, um, it's just this like yellow gummy candy, and uh, one of them is, okay, so this is a really bad example. So this is supposed to be a Pikachu, right? Supposed to be, but it's really just a big blob with like slightly Pikachu-ish features. Like you can kind of say, you know, maybe there's a tail there, Maybe there's some ears. I don't really know. It's, it's a bit of a stretch, but in terms of the taste, it's like a lemon gummy candy. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. So that was the uh, Pikachu stuff. And then we also had this Bulbasaur Oreo wafer thing, which I've had a lot as a kid. Um, I mean, not specifically like the Pokemon ones, but just this kind of snack. So there's the Bulbasaur. On the back, we have a little cutout of a Bulbasaur face, which you can, you know, cut out yourself and then use for whatever you want, like put it on your fridge or something like that. And uh, I'll pull out a wafer for you guys to see as well. So there you have it. That is the Oreo stick. And in terms of the flavor, I was expecting like some kind of mint or maybe like a green apple or something, but it's actually a green tea flavored Oreo wafer. So I really enjoy it, man. I really enjoy it. I think it's freaking delicious. It's actually my favorite snack out of like all the ones that I've had today. And even though when I thought it was filming, before, I had like three of these. I'm okay with having one more. I'm going to the gym anyways. I'll work it off. Not a big deal, right? So that was the Bulbasaur. 
And um, in terms of other stuff that we missed that was not recorded, uh, there were two drinks. There was a Goku drink here. That's the orange flavored uh, sparkling water ocean bomb. We got the Super Saiyan Blue Goku in the front. Here's a quick 360 of the can once again. And uh, the tab on the top is like a normal soda tab as opposed to the Magikarp water one, which has like a pull away tab. But for the flavor, I described it as like somewhere between one of those like zero calorie waters and a uh, orange crush. So it's not quite as sweet as an orange crush, but it's not nearly as flavorless as like a calorie free water. So it's a nice um, middle ground, I would say. You know, not too sweet, not too bland, kind of just right. And I love orange flavored things in general. So big fan of this too. Really, really good. And uh, we also had this other drink, which is a peach flavored sparkling water with Majin Buu on the front. So same brand, Ocean Bomb. There's the can and between the three of these, I would say I definitely like the peach one the best. You know, like, I'm sorry, Goku, man. Like, I love him. I love the design of this can, but <laughs> Boo just tastes better. It is what it is. So, yeah, I would say Boo, number one. Uh, Magikarp water, number two. And then we have the uh, orange Goku one, number three. But that being said, Goku is also really good. They're all really good. It's just a personal preference, right? And uh, I think that might be it. We got the uh, Dragon Ball Super gum slash cards, the Demon Slayer sticker slash gummies, or a taffy. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot about this one. So this is the Studio Ghibli uh, themed candy. And if you guys don't recognize this, it's from a movie called Grave of the Fireflies, which is literally one of the saddest just things in existence, man. Like not just the animated film, but just like one of the saddest things I've ever seen because uh, it's just sad. Like I don't wanna spoil anything. I don't wanna you know, get too much into it, but let's just say it was one of the only animated films ever that was able to make me cry. And I think to this day, man, if I watch it again, I'll probably still cry. It's just that upsetting. So it's a beautiful movie, don't get me wrong. It's amazing. It's just the content, the subject matter is uh, very sad. So uh, yeah, I tried this candy. It's essentially just like some fruity uh, hard candies, you know, you got like some strawberry, some uh, pineapple, green apple, um, grape, lemon, oh, basically the ones that you see here. So nothing too special about the candy itself. It was really the packaging that got me. And uh, yeah, that's that. So I guess that's gonna be today's video, man. It didn't turn out quite the way I wanted it to. Not that the snacks were bad, it's just I was a little bit angry at myself for not pressing record, but at the end of the day, you guys got to see all the snacks, I got to enjoy them, so it all worked out, right? And uh, guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope you guys like these kinds of videos because I really enjoy making them. You know, like I love eating and I love sharing my love of food and anime and video games with people out there. So if you guys wanna see more videos like this, then make sure to let me know in the comments. And uh, that's gonna be it for today, man. I'm gonna go out and find some more anime snacks or just cool snacks that uh, you guys might be interested in. And we'll be back with another video like this at some point in the future. Um, before we go though, let me just quickly show you guys my Dragon Ball Super cards again. I think these are really cool, man. I'm definitely, definitely gonna grab at least like five to 10 more packs and try to get that Kefla, maybe some Gokus, maybe some Frieza's or Vegeta's rather. Uh, we'll see. 
But anyways, guys, that is gonna be the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.